All right, here are our solutions for perfect problem four for math 251. Um, basic idea here is we're learning the chain rule. So we're given three different functions. They're actually not composed together here. They're kind of separate. And we're asked to find the derivative of f of g of x. I wrote it like this because hopefully that'll make it easier to first learn the chain rule. Although typically what you'd expect to see is to be asked to find the derivative of what f of g of x is equal to. So in that case, it would be tangent of 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2. OK, so to do that, you kind of have two options. You can either just use the, the chain rule, which tells you that the derivative of f of g of x, the derivative of a composite of two functions, is equal to the derivative of the outside function evaluated at the inside function times the derivative of the inside function. So since it's written like this, you could really get away with using this method throughout this problem. Um, I think it's easier, maybe I'll say, or peel off layers. I think this second method is far superior to this first method, especially when you have several different nested functions, like this last one, we have four nested functions. This can be really a pain to try to get this to work. I think it's a lot easier to do it the second way that I described, so I'll kind of um, depict that way in these solutions. So anyways, for the first one, find f of g of x. Find the derivative of the tangent of 5x cubed. Actually, I want to color code these a little bit. The derivative of the tangent of 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2. So when I talk about peeling off layers, really what I want you to be able to do is see that we have this outside layer, the tangent of something. And since I know that the derivative of tangent is not this, is secant squared, um, it's the derivative of secant that's secant times tangent. But the derivative of tangent is secant squared. Um, I can take the derivative of just kind of the red part of this function. I can say that this is equal to secant squared of, and then instead of secant squared of x, I'm going to leave the inside function alone, 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2. Really, you can think about it as though you peeled off the red part. You took the derivative of the red part, but you left the blue part alone, essentially. It's kind of the f prime is the red part, and the g of x would be the blue part. Note, we left this alone for this point. But we're still not done. Then we have to multiply this by g prime of x. Or if you want to think about it in this peeling off layers way, we're not done because we still haven't taken the derivative of the blue layer. We did the red layer, but not the blue. So i got to multiply this thing times the derivative of the blue. Well, the derivative of the blue, since it's just a polynomial, I can figure it out just by kind of looking at it. Um, using the power rule, I get 15x squared minus 6x. And there's the derivative. Um, for that first one, probably doesn't matter how you do it, which of these methods, but I think what you'll see on future problems is that it's really beneficial, especially when we get to three and four, to do this peel off layers thing. So I'll demonstrate a few more, maybe going a little bit quicker so this video doesn't drag on forever. We want the derivative of g of f of x. Well, what is g of f of x? g of x is 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2. But I don't want g of x, I want g of f of x. So everywhere I would have written an x, I'm going to instead write f of x. f of x is tangent of x. So it's kind of this question that's asking me to take the derivative of. OK, and so since what I have here is a sum of three things, I'm going to say this is the derivative of, actually, let's pull out constants. Why not? One last thing to do. Note that I have a constant 5 right here. So I'm going to say this is 5 times the derivative of something to the third power minus 3 times the derivative of something being squared. Maybe plus 0 plus the derivative of 2. I don't know how you want to write this. Maybe I'll write plus the derivative of 2. And those somethings are these tangent of x functions. So what I now have here is 5 times the derivative of something to the third power. Well, if it were just x to the third power, it would be 3x squared, but it's not. It's tangent of x to the third power, so it will be 3 times tangent of x 
squared, but then I'm not done. I still have to multiply that by the derivative of tangent of x, and the derivative of tangent of x given up here is secant squared of x. And I'll do that same thing for the second term. I got this minus 3 here. Um, normally, if it were just the derivative of x squared, I'd say that that's equal to 2 times x to the 1 power. But instead of x, I got a tangent of x in here. So I leave that alone in this step and then multiply it by the derivative of tangent, which is secant squared. Um, and then finally, the derivative of 2 is just 0. So I don't even need that. And so you don't really have to clean things up here. Um, let's see, tangent is sine over cosine. Well, I'm just going to leave it like this. You know, I'm not even going to put it in. Let's call it 15 tangent squared x times secant squared x minus 6 tangent of x times secant squared x. I think that's good enough. I'm going to leave that as my final answer. All right, number three. I need some extra colors here because I have several different layers. For number three, what it's asking me to do is find the derivative of h of something. Well, let's see, h of x is x times e to the x. So everywhere I used to write an x, um, so something, how about something, times e raised up to some power. I want to take that derivative. Um, and, but it's not just h of x, it's h of g of x. I guess I only have two layers here, so I really didn't need a different color. Um, g of x is equal to 5x cubed minus 3x squared minus 2 plus 2. So really what the question is asking me to do is take the derivative of this huge mess right here. Um, well, the first thing I see is a product rule. All right, this is something times something else. So I'm going to write product rule. And the f in my product rule is equal to 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2. And that's good news because it's just a polynomial, so its derivative is easy to find. You get 15x squared minus 6x using the power rule. g, unfortunately, it's a little bit more difficult. g is e raised up to some power, and that power is this polynomial, 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2. So when I'm trying to find g prime, what I have to do is peel off layers. I'm going to do a chain rule right here inside this product rule, nested rules. So I know the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So the derivative of e to this mess, when I peel off the e layer, I just leave it alone and get e to the 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2. But then I'm not done. I have to multiply that by the derivative of the inside layer, the polynomial. And I know that derivative is 15x squared minus 6x. So now that I have all these pieces right here, I can go through and rewrite them all. Um, I guess the color doesn't matter at this point. The product rule tells me that the derivative of this product is f prime, 15x squared minus 6x times g, e to the 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2, plus g prime, e to the 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2 times 15x squared minus 6x. That all is just g prime. Then I have to multiply that by f, 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2. It just barely fits in here. This thing right here would be my final answer. And hopefully I can f squeeze part four in here at the bottom. We'll see how that goes. Um, part four has me compose four different functions. G of f of, no, three. I can't count. G of f of g of x. So I need to know that g is this polynomial. And then f is tangent of x. So if I just wanted f of g of x, if I work from the ins inside out, f of g of x would just be tangent of this polynomial. But I don't just want f of g of x, I want g of that. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy down g of x here, this polynomial, except everywhere I see the letter x, I'm going to replace it with what I just said f of g of x was equal to, namely the tangent of 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2. What I'm getting at is I'm trying to take the derivative of this polynomial, 5 times something cubed, uh, minus 3 times something squared, plus 2. And each of those somethings, kind of a mess, um, they are tangent of something. So it's going to be tough to squeeze this in. And that something, the innermost layer here, which apparently is going to be green, is this same polynomial, 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2. Perfect fit. I think this, when we have the three nested layers, is where you're really going to start to see the benefits of the chain rule. Um, so to conserve space, I'm going to be a little bit clever here. The derivative of the sum of three things, I just look at each one individually. So let's first just look at this term right here. I'm going to start by peeling off the blue layer. So if I take the derivative of the blue layer, I'll take this 3 times the 5 to get 15. I guess this should be in blue. Times something raised up to the second power, because that's using the power rule. And what that something is, is the tangent of this polynomial, which is 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2. So I've taken the derivative of the blue layer in this first term. Now I've got to take care of the red layer in this first term. Um, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. The derivative of tangent of x is secant squared of x. So what I get is secant squared of this polynomial in green. And then I'm still not done, because I still, I've took the derivative of the blue here, the red here, I still haven't touched the green. The derivative of the green, my final step here is 15x squared minus 6x. Done? Not really, you're done with the first term, right? I just took the derivative here. Do that second thing, the same thing for the second term and for the third term, but the third term, the derivative is just zero, so it'll be pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and do that. In blue, take the derivative of the blue part, you get negative six times something to the first power. You don't even have to write that first power. And what is that something? Well, it's tangent of your polynomial. And that polynomial is 5x cubed. I have it memorized at this point, which is kind of sad minus 3x squared plus 2. Then you're not done. We're looking at this second term here. We just did the blue layer. The next layer would be the red layer. The derivative of tangent of x is secant squared of x. So I want secant squared of any inside layers, in this case the green stuff, the polynomial, 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2. And then finally, I want to multiply that by the derivative of the polynomial which is 15x squared minus 6. Wow. This right here is my final answer. Because for the third term, the derivative of 2 is just 0, so I don't even need to write anything. Um, kind of gets you to start to see how challenging it can be to keep the chain rule straight when you end up with nested rules going on in there. Um, so I guess I'll end that video here. It gives you a little bit of an introduction to the chain rule.